Hello with Mice and Dormice and welcome to your final session of Mass Learning for the week. In front of you, you've got a number line. This time it is going up to number 13. So let's start by just counting along it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, what do you notice? I've covered one over. What number have I covered over? That's right, number 9. Let's carry on counting. 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm going to show you a few more number lines. And I have hidden some numbers behind the blue squares. Are you ready for this one? Which number do you think is hidden this time? It is the number that comes after 12. So one more than 12. Number 13. So one and a three. One ten and three ones to make 13. This time I have hidden two numbers. Let's see if you can spot the two numbers that have been hidden. Let's start with this one. Number five. Well done. Comes between four and six. Which number have I hidden here? So it's a number that is one more than 11, one less than 13. It is number 12. So one and then a two. So one ten and two ones. This is our last day of looking at the part part whole model. And today we're going to be seeing how many ways we can split 10 into two parts. So really looking at our number bonds to 10. Have your part part whole in front of you and your 10 objects in front of you. And remember to put the 10 objects in the hole to start with. Let's do the first few together. I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put the rest in this part. I'm going to count them as we go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have got nine as a part and one as a part. Ten is my whole, nine is a part, one is a part. Let's write that as a number sentence. So one, oops, add nine equals ten. Ready for our next one? So we found one way of splitting ten into two parts. Let's see if we can find a few more ways. Put your objects back into the hole. Check, you've still got 10. You haven't lost any along the way anywhere. Let's start now by putting two in the part and count the rest out and put them into this part. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is a part, and two is a part. How would I write that as a number sentence? Two add eight equals ten. Today we have done two ways together, so two ways of making ten. And your challenge now is to see how many more ways you can find. So using your part, part, whole and your 10 objects, we want to see how many ways you can find. And then we're going to ask a grown up to send in the photos of you doing that or a little comment to say how you have got on.